from the fresh produce we are consuming, about 20% of what we consume within the city could be produced within the city border. And if it could, technically, then it also should. Why import it long away? But this means we need about three key elements in order to achieve that. We need a food system that is able to grow that much of food. It must be state-of-the-art in operations know-how. Some people have to know how to operate such a farm. And we also need a brand in order to communicate to the consumer what is city food and can you really eat city food. In the end, it comes down to these four pillars we are using in our model. We have the technology. I've been talking about that, and most en enthusiasts are going for the technology and forget about the others. We have uh, special products ba that come out of that technology. We do it in a special location in order to be close to the consumer and enable transparent production. But in the end, it's the brand telling the consumer what it is, because in the end, it must be one of several choices in the shelf that you have to adopt. We have been lucky to get in f um, financing in the, in the first round and also to get the support of the Swiss Federal Commission for Science and Technology. And we were able to build the pi first pilot system. It's about 260 square meters on an industrial rooftop in Basel. We invested quite a lot of money in that thing. But we could use it in order to showcase it's possible to build in the city, even in, Swiss, in Switzerland on the rooftop. It's possible to run such a system and we have a premium quality produce that comes out of it. So this is a different view where you see it's just four, four bus stations away from the main station, railway main station of Basel. And it's a standard greenhouse where the fish is integrated in this part in here. Uh, an interior view on basil production and tomato on the background. Salads in NFT flow channels, so the water is flowing through. And just to quickly remind you how fresh could, what this could mean, we start to harvest at 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, our salads that have been ordered for the day. We deliver directly with e-bike to local restaurants. The chef are processing the fish that we deliver them complete and also the produce. And at 12 o'clock, it's already eaten. That's freshness, how it was meant to be. And how you have it also at home if you, if you grow on your own balcony. And now it's, we think it's about time to show that it's possible to do that in a farming approach also.